Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, She Plans, She Budgets. In today's video, we'll be going over my second paycheck results. So let's get started. All right, so here is my second paycheck spread. If you didn't catch my paycheck to budget, feel free to check that video out before you watch this one. But for this video, we will be going over the results. So we'll be going over all of my actual numbers as well as cash stuffing my um, cash envelopes over here. I have three right here, gas, groceries, and laundry. And then I'll be also going over how much money I put towards debt from out of this paycheck. All right, so starting with my income, um, I am a salary paid employee and I was paid on Friday, October 16th. My actual amount was $1,919 with 49 cents. And I'll put that down here again as my total for this pay period. All right, so next for utilities, utilities was right at the 184 amount. And that is because I'm on a um, equal payment plan with my utility company. So no changes there. And the total actual again was 184. Okay, and then next for cash and savings. For gas, I do have my envelopes right here. Gas is completely empty and I will need to fully stuff $120. So that will stay the same. For groceries, I do have some money in here. I currently have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140, 145, 146, 147, 148, and 149. So this $149 is left over from paycheck one because I did stuff that paycheck as well. And I'm going to actually stuff the full amount of the $450 because this will need to last me until my first paycheck in November, which comes November 13th. So it will need to last me for about four more weeks. So I will be stuffing $450. And then lastly for laundry, here's that envelope right here. It's currently empty, so it desperately needs this $20. So I'll be stuffing that amount as well. And then for my personal spending, I will be giving myself the full $250. So no changes in this column as well. All right, so my total will be the same at $840. So for my paycheck breakdown, the income was more, so that is good. So I'll have an actual of $19.19 with 49 cents. And my bills and expenses will remain the same at $184. And then cash and savings will be the same as well at $840. Okay, so that will mean $19.19.49 minus 184 minus 840 means I will have $895.49 to put towards a debt snowball payment. All right, so that again was 895 with 49 cents. All right, that number is looking beautiful. Just wanted to quickly mention that I will have the sticker kit that I'm using, which is from Erica Live Vlogs, linked down below in the description box, as well as the planner I'm using, my planner cover, how I have it all set up. All of that will be linked down below and in the um, description box. So for my debt snowball, actually, let me get to the cash stuffing real quick. So I have my money right here. And I have a bunch of 50s, some 20s, and then some 10s. So I'll just work backwards. For laundry, I said I was going to put in 20. So I'm going to use two 10s. And 
And whenever I need to use, um, like, I mean, buy some more detergent or like um, fabric softener, I'll increase this amount from $20 to like 25, 30, maybe 35. But right now I'm good on both laundry detergent and fabric softener. So I only need 20 for the next four weeks. So that is stuff. And I will also have my cash envelopes linked down below as well. They are from um, Mojo Cuts on Etsy. So feel free to check out the description box if you wanna purchase any of these cash envelopes. They're super cute. You can personalize your envelopes. I personalized mine. I did hole punch it for the Happy Planner because that's the system, this system I'm currently using. But you can hole punch it for whatever you like. She does give it to you as a solid, uh, extra um what you call it <laughs> she gives you the extra space with no hole punch i hole punched it myself anyway moving on i'll stuff gas next so gas will be getting 120 and that should be all of these 20s and all of these 10s so 20 40 60 80 90 100 110 120 all right, and again, as you can see, gas is empty, so I need all of this money. And um, the previous stuffing got spent because I had to do a lot of traveling with the family issues that was going on before, but like I mentioned, that is now resolved. So my gas fund probably go down in November because um, I won't be traveling as much um or using as much lift rise buff bus rise blah 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 <laughs> so if you see my weekly check-ins you know what i'm talking about as far as those extra expenses but hopefully next month this can go down um because 120 is a lot and especially to be doing it twice in one month so that's a lot but i definitely need this for the next four weeks since it was empty so that's why it's getting a full restuffing and then lastly for groceries, as we know, I just counted, I have $149 in there and I want to add $450. All right, so this should be it. So $50, 100 $150, $200, $250, $300, $350, $400, and $450. So I'm just going to add this to the back and then that should now be $599. All right, so this is nice and fat and chunky. It won't stay that way for long because I do need some groceries. But I am doing a lot better with this because um, I have actually been trying to cook every meal down to like one or two meals before I go back to the grocery store. So I'm doing really good with that. So hopefully you'll see a decrease in November as well. All right, so I'm gonna put these off to the side. And then next, I'm going to just grab my Erin Condren monthly bill tracker really quick. Because I just want to check off a few things. So utilities bill, which is this one right here, was due on the 27th, but I paid it early, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and check that off. My cash envelopes has been stuffed for the second time this month. So I'm going to check that off as well. And then sinking funds has one more stuffing, which will occur in paycheck number three. So stay tuned for that. And then my personal spending also gets one more go around in paycheck three as well. And then everything else will happen in paycheck three or in November. So that is basically it for paycheck two and my monthly bill tracker. Um, I did find out that I mentioned in paycheck two budget I did find out that my water bill will be due in November, about mid-November, so I'll take care of that payment with my first paycheck in November. And then we can now talk about my Perkins loan, which is with UAS, and that is the current student loan that I am attacking. And I am happy to say that out of this $895.49, I did put $431.98 towards UAS and that was to pay it off. So yes, thank you Lord, woo! UAS is gone. So, I'm going to scratch that loan off eventually and then it'll be a clean slate down there. So, um, out of the 895, 
49 cents. I just showed you that 431 with 98 cents went towards UAS. And that means the remaining $463.51 went towards my next biggest loan, which is with Great Lakes loan number two. And I'm going to flip you guys over to my debt tracker really quickly. Because that video should have already been posted. So if you haven't seen it already, feel free to check that out. All right. So again, out of paycheck two, I had a total of $895.49 to put towards debt. $431.98 went towards my um, UAS loan. So this loan is now gone. And then the remaining amount of $463.51 went towards Great Lakes loan number two. All right, and so the starting balance at the beginning of October was $4,317.35. So subtracting that really quickly, whoopsies. My now balance for Great Lakes loan number two is $3,800. $53 with 84 cents <clears throat> and that is the exact amount because these loans with Great Lakes are not accruing interest at this time due to the CARES Act so that is a beautiful thing as well and I'm hoping to attack this loan very aggressively in these next two months so that I can have it paid off by the end of the year so that's the goal and hopefully I'll reach that goal so wish me luck <laughs> so i'm just going to flip you back to my paycheck number two all right so we went over my actual numbers for paycheck two and we went over my debt um snowball payment update Lastly, I just want to share with you all in regards to my debt. This is the Perkins loan tracker that I had made um, sometime when I was at $3,500. Hey everyone, sorry, my camera cut off, unfortunately. Um, I was talking for maybe about three or four minutes about my Perkins loan and my loans in general. Um, but basically, I did just go ahead and color this in. I had about three, four coins remaining. Um, I made this tracker somewhere around $3,500. I started off with $5,100. That is how much I borrowed. And I borrowed that money in like September of 2010. So that shows you how long I had this loan. I had this loan for literally over 10 years. Um... So I just was saying that this loan was $5,100 when I borrowed it in school, while in school when I was, or back in 2010, excuse me. And it shouldn't take five or 10 years to pay off $5,000. Like that just goes to show you that paying the minimum isn't worth it. If you're able to put more towards your debt um, than just the minimum payment, then I recommend you do that because interest is a thing. And it's not worth you taking your time to pay off whatever debt that you owe, whether it be student loans, credit cards, personal loans, car loans, mortgage, you know, whatever. So um, I paid this loan off on October 16th, 2020. And I, you know, colored this all in and I'm very happy that this is now complete. It feels so good because I started off with 19 debts. And this loan was number 14. So I paid off 14 debts so far. That was a mixture of medical bills, credit cards, private loans. Now this Perkins loan. And I have just five federal student loans remaining um, with Great Lakes. And Great Lakes had eight of my student loans. And I got rid of three of them. So three is part of that 14 total. And I just have five now to work with. And I'm currently working on Great Lakes loan number two. So because of that, I wanted to save my debt free land tracker. Um, this is tracking all of my debt overall, which is combined. So that total was $74,025.29. 
So as you can see, I'm, I was at about 60% at the end of September. I believe is the last time I showed you this. So I'm going to wait till the end of October to calculate where I am because um, I want that to include my second payment from paycheck number three that I put towards Great Lakes loan number two. All right, so this is where I am right now. And then at the end of the month, I'll come back to color this in. But this was colored off camera technically because the camera stopped filming. So Perkins loan is now done. It's out of my life forever. And I will be contacting UAS sometime this week to, you know, get my paid in full letter because you definitely want to get all of your paid in full letters from whatever debts you have so that you keep that for your files, your records, in case anybody try to act stupid, you know, later on down the line, you can say, oh, ah, 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 I paid it off on this date and here's my receipt. <laughs> so that's that on that. And now I can properly end this video. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all next time.